In this video, we are going to talk about arbitrage on cryptocurrency futures and BitSpreader as a tool for executing the arbitrage trades on cryptocurrency futures. Term arbitrage describes a trading strategy in which a trader profits from the price differences of the same asset. In its simplest form, due to the decentralized nature of the cryptocurrency markets, there are situations in which we can see price differences between the exchanges and we can buy Bitcoin on one exchange and at the same time sell it with a slightly higher price on another. Of course, the execution of this transaction is not as simple as it sounds. BitSpreader is a futures spread trading platform. As spread trading is a superset of the arbitrage, we can use BitSpreader for the arbitrage trading. Investopedia, in its definition of futures spread trading strategy, describes it as an arbitrage technique. It can be arguable if trading on the spread between two futures with different delivery dates is an arbitrage, but definitely trading on the spread between two futures contracts with the same delivery date on different exchanges is an arbitrage. Let's take a closer look at it. How to set up arbitrage trade in BitSpreader in short. We can arbitrage on futures with same delivery dates or on perpetual contracts. At the right moment, when the spread is the lowest we buy the spread, that means we buy one contract and sell another. Then we wait until the spread grows, the prices go as far one from another as possible, and we sell the spread that means we sell the first contract and we buy the second. Let's go and let's choose coin margin futures. Now let's select Deribit Perpetual Contract as Leg 1 and Binance Perpetual as Leg 2. Here we see the spread chart. This spread chart expresses the price difference between perpetual contracts on Deribit and Binance. As you can see, it is not zero. All the time the price difference fluctuates. It is far from being stable. The price difference moves in a pretty narrow channel. In fact, it is almost always positive, which tells us that the price of the perpetual contracts on Deribit is always minimally higher than the price of the perpetual contract on Binance. How to execute the arbitrage trade? We first need to buy the spread. That means we need to buy Deribit Perpetual Contract and sell Binance Perpetual Contract at the same time. This is what BitSpreader does for you. It executes two trades simultaneously. The best moment for buying this spread is when the spread price is the lowest. We must switch the price to the ask price to see the historical values of the price for which we could buy this spread. As the spread price is a price difference between Deribit and Binance, the best moment to buy the spread is when the price on Binance gets as close as possible or even becomes greater than the price on Deribit. Let's note what are the lowest levels. Let's switch to one hour candles. We can see that the spread ask price sometimes goes to as low minus 5, sometimes even to minus 10 or lower. In the next step, we need to understand what will be the price of the spread when we sell it. Selling the spread means sell Deribit perpetual contract and buy Binance perpetual contract. Let's switch the chart to show bid price candles. At its highest values in the last hours, we could sell the spread for $30, $40, or even $120. Now, let's do the math. For the spread trade size of one Bitcoin buying for minus $10 and selling for $40 gives us $50 profit. We still need to pay the exchange trading fees. There are two major factors that decide about the profitability of arbitrage trades. That are the speed and the fees, and we will get back to this in a second. One important note about the amount of the spread trade. One Bitcoin is the nominal value of each spread trade leg. As we are trading on the futures contracts, we trade with the leverage. Deribit's default leverage is 50. That means that to trade one Bitcoin, we need 0.02 Bitcoin. With the current value of Bitcoin close to $20,000, it is $400 as a margin for a single spread trade leg and $800 for both legs. In case we could execute our arbitrage with a profit of $50, while engaging $800 that would mean incredibly high return on a single trade with no risk involved. But we have not calculated the trading fees yet. Let's consider executing this arbitrage trade with the auto trigger order. BitSpreader executes auto trigger order when the spread price reaches the trigger price provided by the user. For buy orders, BitSpreader executes the order when the spread ask price goes below the trigger price. For sell orders, BitSpreader executes the order when the spread bid price goes above the trigger price. When triggered, 
BitSpreader executes two market orders simultaneously. Buying the spread means executing two market orders. Selling the spread means two more market orders. For each market order, we pay the taker fee. In the basic level fee tier, Binance has four basis points taker fee and Deribit has five basis points taker fee. For all the trades together, we would pay 18 basis points fee. As the prices analyzed earlier refers to one Bitcoin, one Bitcoin is around $20,000. 18 basis points is $36.5. After subtracting this from our profit, that is $50, we are still at a profit of $13.5. Not bad. The question is, will the auto trigger be able to catch these spikes in price? The spikes in price that we have observed may be very short lasting. In order to execute the auto trigger order, BitSpreader first needs to receive the message from the exchange about current levels in the order books. It needs to compute the difference, and in case the triggering condition is met, call the exchanges again to issue two market orders. There is a latency involved that can cause slippage. By the nature of the market orders, they will be realized by the exchange with what is available in the order books. As the order books may change between the moment when BitSpreader observed the triggering condition and the moment of market order execution, we may encounter the slippage. Actual price for which we buy the spread may be different from the triggering price. The risk of the slippage grows if we want to catch very short bursts of price with the auto trigger orders. We may sometimes even end up with the loss as the fees for the trades exceed the profit. As an alternative scenario, let's consider executing this arbitrage trade with the auto spreading order. BitSpreader executes auto spreading orders with use of one market order and one limit order. First, we choose on which market BitSpreader will be placing the limit orders, that is the quoting market, and on which BitSpreader will be placing market orders, that is the hedging market. BitSpreader puts a limit order on the quoting market with the price that is computed as the price on the hedging market plus provided spread price. Every time the hedging price moves, BitSpreader updates the limit order. When the limit order is filled, BitSpreader instantly hedges by executing opposite market order on the hedging market. This approach is much faster. On one side of the spread trade, we use the exchange mechanism to match our limit order. The probability of the high slippage is significantly reduced, however, the slippage is still possible. Also, the fees are much lower. On Deribit, the maker fee for limit orders is zero. On Binance in the basic fee tier, it is four basis points for taker orders. In total, the fees for the spread trade made with the use of auto spreading will be eight basis points, that is $16. With the lower latency in auto spreading mode, that increases the chances for the profitable arbitrage trade. To sum up, cross exchange arbitrage on cryptocurrency futures is possible and can be profitable. We have described two approaches. First method with use of market orders. Overall looks well, but the latency and fees can reduce our profits. Second method with use of limit and market orders. This method is faster and has lower fees. Both methods are available in BitSpreader. We invite you to try out BitSpreader for free for first 30 days with no credit card required. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.